is Seraphira, and welcome back to Empyrean Galactic Survival. Alright, so it's a little bit after me finally um, getting my turrets up. There they are. <laughs> and uh, finally being able to defend myself versus the Azirax uh, drone attack. Uh, I do need to replace this solar panel. Let's take a look at the base statistics here. So we've got 6% fuel in there. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I think this only shows what the generator's using. It doesn't show the capacitor status. Let's say battery. Oh, there we go. So we got a battery of 2%. It's not too bad, but we need a lot more. Um, so the sun will be up in a little less than two hours. Let's just make that. I think that's a small one. Yeah. So the goal for today is for me to get enough materials to throw them into the factory so that I can make a hover vehicle and I want the hover vehicle in order to uh, in this case mine and harvest materials so Phoenix Industries has a whole set of um, tons and tons of Hover vehicles, small vehicles, capital vessels, and bases. Let's just look at this bases really quick. So here's one of his. They're nice and color coded, so the red background shows a normal type of base. Um, does it? I mean, in Steam, it'll show basically what tier they are. Now the thing is, is that he made these uh, at least three years ago. Um, I don't know how well they're going to work with Reforged e um, Eden. I don't know uh, how well they're going to work in general. Like this residence is mostly just a solar panel um, and some amenities inside. Uh, the outpost is a little bit more beefed up. It does have some turrets in it, um, but I don't have. 19,000 iron ingots <laughs> to just throw that down. So that's why we need the harvester. Uh, let's look at, he's got a headquarters, just, just so you can kind of see it. Am I missing it? There we go, headquarters. So again, much bigger. Uh, they're semi-modular. They don't necessarily fit and click into each other. But they all have like the same style, so it it will make it look like a like an army type base. Okay, back to the hover vehicle. So, oops, hover. Um, he's got several types of this hatchet class. I just plan on making the utility, using it for mining, and I'm probably just going to throw a gun on top of it. I may buy one of these later, but uh, they're going to start needing sathium, cobalt, titanium, which I don't have available on me. So. Uh, I'll get those eventually. I'll probably leave this utility vehicle here on this planet. I'll eventually make a one of his uh, small vessels so I can get off the planet and move on to the research. Yeah, it's kind of not working. So. On the, on the right side it says warp to the UCH uh, research vessel. We got that to do, but that's still a ways off. Anyway, that's the plan for this episode. I really just have a lot of mining to do and things like that. We'll see how the vehicle runs after I've got it built. Uh, but for now, that's where uh, I'm headed. So I'm going to break away and go find all those materials. I also need to make a fridge and probably a food processor. So let's get those in the in the in the queue and I will see you guys uh, in just uh, just a moment.
right, here we are, back at base. And we've got... I think all, all the uh, the ingots uh, created. Uh, let's actually look here. We're working on the substrate, the carbon substrate. I've got 366 copper. Let's just move that over here. How much room does that take? Uh, okay. Uh, and just move the iron, some of the iron, over. Okay. And F2. And let's just start moving stuff in. So I need 352. So you can put more in there. It'll just stay in the factory. But I just prefer not to waste it at this point. Um, and this, is that enough silicon? No, oh, I don't have enough room. that in there. 600. That's, that's probably fine. I'm just not doing the math fast enough in my head. Uh, there we go. Okay, 679. That'll get me to... I've got the container to auto sort by type, so things aren't going to be in exactly the same spot when I look at it again. Okay, we just need the, the substrate, which is being worked on. Oh, and we've got it. So, F2. Let's get rid of... go too far. Uh, I just reloaded the minigun turrets. That's at 1% of a second ago. I don't... Do they self-heal? Anyway. Uh, we're at 13% battery. Speaking of that. Let's turn that off. Everything else is off. Okay. 13% uh, battery. Which is great. So it's fine, even with these lights that I put in. Which I'm really not happy with the lighting situation. They don't seem to put off a whole lot of illumination. Anyway, back to what we're doing here. The statistics. So, we should be seeing an attack any second. <laughs> um, the turrets are ready. Um, I actually don't want to be in base when they attack. I don't want to be nearby. So let's like just like pick some flowers while um, while we wait. So I wonder if the now means that they're move they're moving from the base. So. Uh, can't look at it now. Last time they came from that direction, I don't know if it's always the same. But it should be the same because, in my opinion, it says they're coming from the Xerox Empire from the drone base. And if they're always coming from the same direction, they're always coming from the same base. They should be coming from a base. So one of the uh, NPC outposts, which I have not gotten to, and I think that's 
Um, the Talons Empire down here. I haven't really done a whole lot of exploring yet, which will be happening once the hover ship is planted, which we may as well do. Hopefully it won't get destroyed, so we're going to move it away a little bit. Otherwise, we'll be doing a lot more mining. Uh, spawn. Okay, hover vessels complete. It's closer than I wanted it to be. Um, so we've got a harvester, we've got a couple drills, and there's these Gatling cannons on the front, which I'm really not all that impressed with. Um, but the harvest controllers in the back. Uh, I don't know, let's see. like awfulness okay so we gotta work on that I'm going to do a quick, quick cutaway until the attack happens. Okay, so here comes the attack. Um, he's making some food. Oh, aside. Um, dude, shoot. Dude. Okay, good. <laughs> Alright, we've got... Okay, he's down. Okay. There's... People coming, guys. Don't let them land. Why are they not... There we go. Come on, take them. There's one. I just not as well as I would have hoped to <laughs> but let's go get my ship okay so I did figure out um, why this was not running as well uh, it had to do with CPU where's the dude So I took off the harvester, I took off the two Gatling guns. There it is. Wow. It's way out there. And now it's under um, one of our 
it was like uh, almost twice as much for CPU. Perfect, need that. Take it. I don't remember what I need the flex coil for. I think it's for a CPU extender, actually. <laughs> Um, yeah, you guys are really close. So I'll show you the, the hover vessel in a moment. Let's just get all this loot done. Okay. The flex coil is great. I don't know what else I need to get to the CPU extender, CPU 2, whatever it's called. Um, I was also making a burger here. So let's turn this off. And. I need to get a bonus for it. Oh well. Okay, okay let's throw all of this. Not the ammo though. Here, can always pick it out later. I just don't know where it is. I still want that. Okay. C. E. Alright, so. Oh, the flex coils for the base exp extender. Uh, I need titanium and energy regulators for the. Um, hover vehicle. Okay, but let's go check out the hover vehicle. It's turning a lot better now. Uh, I'm not going to put everything back on the um, on the vehicle, but I'll show you what I took off. I mean, the two Gatling guns are up here. The harvester module is here. I've got it stored here in case I want to put it back on later. But... On. I should probably pick up my. Well, it's. Trust me, it's turning better. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be turning great, but it's turning better than it was. So let's look at P. Uh, let's look at CPU. So we were well over. I think we were like in the 8,000 range. So we we're well over the CPU, which was causing it to work at 50% uh, efficiency. in my inventory. Oh, was it? I don't know what I was doing. So let's check her out. It's... Actually, I'm going to make... Uh, it actually moves forward quite well. It's just the turning that's awful. And it's actually... I don't know. It's not horrible. It's just... Wish it was better. So let's turn the drill on. There we go. This, which I need to fix, 
a little bit, obviously, is the garage. <laughs> impressive garage, but it'll work uh, as long as I can get out of it. Here we go. Alright, so it worked. Um, can I see? I have to get pee. Uh, devices. Harvester controller access. There we go. Already got 400 crust stone. Um, so we're a third of the way full. So as long as we're doing this, um, we can always come and store it in the quote-unquote garage later. Let's go west. Because this is where I was getting all my copper from.
So, I think this is probably the quickest way to get the ores you need. Um, but eventually you're going to want to be using uh, the extractors. And I've got it set that that does not need the ore. So I've got like three of the main ores right near my base. Let's make sure I can get out of here. Um, iron, silicon, and copper. This is not one of those, which is why, is why I'm okay digging it out. And the other thing I don't like about digging them out is you've got this big ass hole that you're gonna fall into. <laughs> Probably why you want to start making small uh, vessels and things like that, so you don't have to worry about holes and things like that. Um, just a little stuck. So hover vehicles, I think, are very good tanks. Um, they're obviously good at resource harvesting. Pilot them correctly. A little stuck. Let's actually turn it off. Get out. Alright, well, yeah. That was a very quick 156 copper, at least for me. I have not gotten that much copper that quickly at all. Um, the crushed stone's great because I can turn it into any other ore I need. Plus, I can work on the base if I need to. And we're going to need to uh, build a small vessel. Um, I'm probably going to want to do some exploring with a small vessel, and obviously I'm going to need the small vessel to, uh, to warp out to a ship. I am not ready to make a capital ship at all yet. So I think with that said, uh, as always, guys, really thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Finally have a uh, hover vessel, um, a good way to get our resources. And I'll talk to you all next time. All right, everyone. I'll see you later. Bye-bye now.